hello there. So today I'll be covering a pro project called Radical Chess. At the moment, these guys are trying to raise funds within the pink seal or pre seal itself. And as usual, I'll be doing my sort of like a deep dive into the project itself. And I'll be sharing with you all my thoughts and findings on the project itself. So to start, we'll start with the investment proposal analysis, analysis of what we have in front of us within the pink seal pre seal itself. So to begin with, these guys have audit badge, meaning that the contract was audited uh, by any mistakes uh, by a third party. They have keys badge, meaning that one or more of the owners was docs, just in case if there's any fraud. And they have docs badge. Uh, in this case, uh, the owners uh, behind the project did an actual MA and where their faces are visible. With that being said, um, this is a soft launch aiming to raise 50 BNB or more to be considered successful. Um, there's no limit to how much money they can raise. A downside to that, that there might be no buying pressure once the project launches. Now, at the moment, there is 173 BNB, you could say, for, from 282 contributors. Now, the token itself will be called Chess, will have 1 billion total supply, 471.5 million of the tokens will be allocated for the pre-sale, 228.5 for liquidity, 51% um, of the raised funds from the pre-sale will be going into the liquidity, meaning the team will be keeping 49% of the raised funds. With that being said, they have affiliates program. So if you choose to invest into this project, uh, you invest, you generate a link uh, with your wallet, you share the link, and if people choose to invest uh, through your link, you'll be get uh, you'll get a five percent of what they choose to invest. With that being said, uh, when it comes about the token metrics, so forty seven percent will go for the pre sale, twenty three percent for the liquidity, seven percent for the team, ten percent for the pay to earn mechanics, ten percent for the market and 3% will be allocated as a tournament rewards. Now, looking further, when it comes about those locked portions, uh, so one of the portions is vested and scheduled, uh, the others uh, have no vesting schedules on them, meaning once they will be unlocked, they will be unlocked in full go, uh, which is, you could say, a red flag. Now, analytics audit. So as you can see, there is no mint function within the contract. So owner can't change fees over 25%. Owner can't set maximum transaction amounts. Owner can't change trading status. And owner can't set blacklists or exclude people from trading. With that being said, when it comes to our social media reach and presence, so these guys are on YouTube, as you can see, 13 subscribers, they did some MAs and stuff like that, 4 views 17 hours ago, 23 views 2 days ago, 15 views 6 days ago, uh, 1.1 thousand views one month ago, uh, the trailer uh, the trailer of the Radical Chess. Uh, looking further, when it comes about their Twitter, they have 62 tweets, 6 people actively following them, 1.6 thousand followers, uh, and they also are in Telegram, 2.2 thousand members, 161 of which apparently now are online. Now, going back into their pink sale pre-sale page, as you can see, uh, there is now or almost over 200 BNB at uh, the pre-sale ends in like 11 minutes but as I mentioned they have audit keys and docs badge so when it comes about those uh, keys was done by the pink sale on one member of a team on February 20th 2023 uh, the audit was done uh, the audit was done um, by Revolution audit as you can see quite a standard contract no sort of like mistakes uh, just a typical stuff and they also done AMA as you can see uh, you can actually see within the video owners uh, of the project talking uh, uh, about the project itself about ideas behind it and all that stuff you can watch all this stuff in YouTube yourself now with that being said as you can see, uh, this is their website. Now, what is the idea? What is the product uh, behind the project? So the project itself is uh, a pay to earn game, a pay to earn game uh, that is based around chess. And in a sense, in a sense, the sort of like a whole idea uh, that um, these guys made this a chess game where in a sense you can buy all these different various NFTs uh, to use them as a skins within the game itself. Now the game itself, it's all about the chess and there's two different modes, uh, there's 2D modes and there's 3D mode uh, where you'll be able to use all those sort of like a skins on your chess, uh, skins uh, that are NFTs. 
And so in a sense, if you'll be if you'll be able to collect all those sort of like NFTs, the whole team of them, you'll be able to participate in these three D matches, where in a sense every single of those chests um, it has a sort of like a skin, uh, skin animation on how they move, on how they remove the uh, opponents and stuff like that. Now, when it comes about the project as a whole, it will have various tournaments. Um, where people will be able to sort of like a compete for the first place and some sort of like a prizes uh it will have tutorials and puzzles it will have tv features you'll be able to watch the best chess players uh, in action uh it will have a sort of like a play to earn mechanics so there will be these tournaments where you can essentially buy into the tournament and compete with others for the main prize or or just in a sense participate uh and and um from time to time get paid for activity and stuff like that uh as i mentioned it will have these nfts uh 3d characters uh that will be in the form of nfts uh, players will be able to earn mint and trade those nfts on a marketplace um they will be actual in-game assets and that's the sort of like a idea behind the game itself they also have a trailer a trailer quite a nice trailer quite a nice trailer uh, so when 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 it comes about the sort of like a whole project, everything is about the chess, and the sort of like a interesting thing that these guys did is that is that in a sense, in a sense, as as they have this chess game, they sort of like are thought how everything works. So as you can see from the tra trailer, if you will choose to play the sort of like a three D version. Instead of having usual chess, you'll be able to have these sort of like a various different characters in the form of NFTs, and those NFTs will act as skins, uh, skins, and that will change the appearance of your character. Uh, that will have the sort of like a different movements and stuff like that, looks, finishing sort of like a moves. So, you know, uh, the game itself, the game itself is quite standard. I mean, just like any other chess, but the sort of like interesting part is that um, I think I think it will it will make it sort of like a more fun uh, having all these sort of like a different skins, animations and stuff like that. Uh, it's sort of like a more interesting way to play chess, you could say. And that's the sort of like a idea behind the project itself. Uh, to sort of like a revolutionize to recreate uh, the way on how people play chess and as you can see and as you can see uh, within the trailer you can see some of those schematics you can try the game itself within their website and that's the sort of like uh, idea now they also have a white paper a white paper where they present the project itself they present the sort of like a problems uh ideas um market sizes and stuff like that the reasons behind the sort of like a creation of the project itself and and um, if you go for it in a sense the sort of like a main problems is that there's not a lot of uh, people uh, sort of like a continuing to play chess even though it's sort of like could be seen as a beneficial beneficial game game that actually benefits you uh the other problem is that you know chess uh, chess may not uh, seem as one of those sort of like um hyper interesting games uh, especially especially for a new newer generations at the same time when it comes about sort of like a profitability for the professional gamers and stuff like that of, of chess um you know on, only top one percent makes something from all those tournaments and stuff like that so they're sort of like a solution is yes, uh, in a sense in a sense uh, based of this game to create sort of like a whole platform around it where people where people uh, could uh, sort of like uh, participate compete with each other participate in tournaments uh, compete uh, buy create rent out all these nfts uh, stake if necessary and that is the idea and all those uh, nfts as you can see uh, different styles, different shapes, um, different sort of like a movements, different finishing combinations, and yeah, I think it's really really cool. It's really really cool, and that's the sort of like a uh, idea. As as you can see, uh, the sort of like uh, project itself will have different sort of like uh, rewarding mechanics. Uh, they will have learn to earn. You'll be able to sort of like uh, learn more about about 
how to play chess uh, in a sense and uh, by completing all those sort of like quest challenges puzzles and stuff like that you'll improve your chess skills and on a sign you'll be able to sort of like earn those sort of like a minuscule rewards you'll be able to rent out your nfts now when it comes about the nfts uh, to sort of like a play that 3d mode that you can actually try out in their websites um you'll have to have a whole set of chess and there will be no more than 500 of them in existence and um, in a sense in a sense to play you will need to have a whole set so they'll have rent out features and stuff like that uh they'll have computer and coach to earn uh they'll have this whole coaching platform where people will be able to sort of like teach and learn from each other and they'll have stake to earn and of course they'll have all these various nfts uh, you'll be able to play in this sort of like a different different uh, game modes um sort of like a different different sort of like uh arena styles different nfts and stuff like that and that is the sort of like idea when comes about the token utility chess will be used as the main currency in the nft marketplace uh, chess will be able to be staked uh, to generate passive income chess will be used on a coaching platform as the only means to transact uh, it will be used as entries to tournaments it will be used as a payment for users who want to add their own custom models and um, uh, chess will be used as an entry into exclusive game modes and that's the sort of like a idea now you know uh, there will be only 500 sets of these nfts um i would say i would say not too many but the sort of like interesting part is that in a sense in a sense it will help to sort of like a, i think to transform uh, to transform the original chess game into something that is more entertaining um that's something that uh, could actually attract people so that's the sort of like a project and uh, that's the sort of like a product uh, project idea now when it comes about my sort of like a personal thoughts and opinions so to begin with uh when it comes about let's say a pink sale so important to mention that 49 percent of the funds raised from the pink sale will be going towards the team at the same time a lot of people went in early and there might be no buying pressure unless marketing sort of like a lifts up with that being said when it comes about the tokenomics uh, quite a substantial amount of tokens allocated for the pre-sale for the liquidity and stuff like that everything seems to be fine uh seven percent of the tokens for the team ah i guess it's fine uh ten percent of the pay to earn tokens tokens that will come back to you in a, in the forms of payments from the tournaments from activity um 10 percent uh, of the tokens for the marketing three percent for the tournament rewards uh, the token metrics are quite fine uh just important thing to mention that some of these portions are unlocked in one go uh meaning there is no wasting schedules uh allocated to them so you know everything is unlocked just in one go now when it comes about the project itself uh, once again it's a pay to earn game so in terms of sort, sort of like a profitability it is important to mention that in a sense uh, they won't be sort of like a creating something they won't be sort of like a providing some sort of like a service it's uh, it's sort of like a closed in system so in a sense in a sense um, the sort of like a whole profitability will come uh, from other people uh, coming in uh, joining the game and staying with the game uh so you know uh treat it as a game treat it as a game don't spend uh, thousands and thousands on, on some sort of like uh, nfts now when it comes about the product itself obviously chess uh ch ch chess are sort of like uh you know available for everyone for for hundreds of years and the sort of like a thing is uh you know not too many people play chess so they're sort of like a take to create the sort of like a 3d nfts uh with with a different sort of like uh images styles mechanics and and uh, sort of like a finishing moves and stuff like that i think i think it's something really really cool the sort of like a usual nft games uh pay to earn games that we have within the crypto space they are they are somewhat best described as numb uh you just click 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 and that's all there is to it and to the whole project really when it comes about this project uh there's sort of like an idea of of recreating of of making chess more fun 
for for a wider audiences i think i think it's a great idea because in a, in a sense in a sense uh, the game itself is not some sort of like a pay to earn stuff uh it is like you'll have some some of those nfts and you'll literally buy yourself a win so everyone will have a chance to compete uh the game itself um playing it uh playing chess and stuff like that it's 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 beneficial uh it develops your thinking uh, planning forward and stuff like that so uh, the sort of like a game itself obviously obviously it's nice and uh, the idea behind it uh the idea behind it uh, to recreate in a sense uh how we uh, how we play chess uh the sort of like a more fun take on 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 how you can play chess now the sort of like uh, i think um the whole idea the whole idea it's fun why not uh tournaments uh coaching a uh, new sort of like a way to approach approach how one plays chess uh the sort of like a platform to connect people uh and stuff like that uh I think I think I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great idea. Now the sort of like uh, the only sort of like a worrying part I would say is that is that the uh, to sort of like a play this 3D mode with the NFTs, you'll have to have a whole team of NFTs, and in a sense, in a sense, when it comes about the sort of like a sets of NFTs, there will be only five hundred of them, as it was mentioned within the white paper. So there won't be quite quite a lot of those sort of like NFT sets available for one reason or another. So that part is a little bit, you know, and there's thousands of people playing the chess. You might not sort of like meet them every day. You might not know too many of these people, but they are in existence. And, you know, 500 sets for sort of like all of them. Um, it, it's, it's quite a huge limitation. It's quite a huge limitation. I think... Um, they could have more of those sets or maybe have sort of like a more of those sets without any sort of like a limitations and as long as they act as a sort of like a skins not some sort of sort of like a pay to earn mechanic as long as they are sort of like a available cheap to use and in a sense the whole platform acts as a sort of like a hub for chess uh, to learn uh, to play to participate with the tournaments i mean why not why not quite a nice project yeah so, so those are the sort of like a thoughts and those are the sort of like a thoughts on the project itself now by all means um feel free to agree with me disagree with me um leave a like dislike comment share subscribe and uh, that's all the rest of it now as usual i'll just mention that um, anything and everything i say is not uh financial advice uh just my personal opinion only and uh, that's all the rest of it Thank you for your time today.